Break.com was founded um, as a site called BigBoys.com back in the late 90s. Um, the focus of the site was posting videos which guys would find entertaining. Um, it grew very rapidly in through the late 90s with, as broadband proliferated. Um, more and more videos came online and, and Big Boys grew really rapidly. In 2005, um, the ownership changed hands and it was renamed Break.com. Um, the audience came along to Break and Break really um, broadened its, its outlook. It, it added pictures, it added a bunch of other different types of content. We built other sites around Break.com under the Break Media umbrella. And now we're also representing other sites aimed at guys in the Break Man's network. Oh, great. So you have a sort of a, a network now. That's right. What's the thoughts about that? How does that work? It's, it's actually pretty good. It's, it's one of those things where everybody wins. Um, we're, when we're selling um, advertising space to, uh, to ad, ad clients, they can not only buy that space on break, but we can also represent a bunch of other guy websites that have different niches, everything from gaming to news to finance. Um, and we can target that advertising either across the entire network or on a specific site. Awesome. So uh, obviously there's a value in targeting a demographic. What is the demographic and why does it work for you? That's a good question. Um, the demographic is the demographic. It's, it's guys 18 to 35. Um, and we, we, we pretty much reach that demographic every, every day. Um, the, uh, the value for us is that, our, or the value for our clients is that they know that they can, they can buy on break, they can buy a message, they can do a, a DVD release, they can do a movie premiere, it can be a consumer product, and we can deliver a million guys a day, or over. Um, and that's very difficult to get on the net in a very targeted manner. Only about a year ago did we start any kind of um, focused effort to grow the, the, the user base. Most of it has been viral. Um, historically, you know, for the first sort of seven or eight years of Break's existence, um, it, was, it was entirely viral. I saw a video on Break I liked, I sent it to somebody else. When I first heard about Break, I actually went through all my deleted items. and I, I had, had so many videos that people sent me from Break. I hadn't even realized I'd been visiting the site on and off for years. Um, a lot of it was viral. Now, it's, it, increasingly, it's search driven. Um, we're also uh, very much word of mouth. Other sites link to us since, since all the widgets and embedding and blogging. You know, every day we, we get millions of video plays from blogs that will take a break video and, and uh, post it for their, for their readers to see. So what's happening with the guys out there? Everybody's having a good time? Girls, <laughs> cars, having a good time? I mean, any interesting trends, weird stuff, or what kind of videos are popular? Or? It's really interesting. It kind of goes in cycles. Um, what we find with Break, we're very much a, in some ways a trend set. I know that's a, that's a very grand thing to say, but sometimes we'll post a video that we think is entertaining, and other people will copy the video. There's a great video we, 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 um, we posted a while back called The Funnel Trick. It's where you, you put a funnel in somebody's pants and you, and you distract their attention, you pour a bottle of water into it. Um, I, I do not know how many, but we've had tens of videos and probably more of people doing exactly the same thing to their friends. And so, so Break can start these, um, these kind of phenomena in a, in a very small world that millions of people will watch. Um, some are naughty and some are nice. Some are naughty and some are nice. Most are a little on the naughty side.